Hello, this is Tsukihime. Uh, welcome back to my Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. Um, last time I tried to get stuff into orbit and failed miserably. Hopefully this episode I'll actually get something in orbit. I don't have any... I, I don't want to make too many promises there now, but you know, that's just the way it is. Let's see what I have. Okay, so all these ones in brackets with stock on it are stuff that come with the shit, with the, with the game. Let's see what my Orbiter 1 looks like. Okay, a very long spaceship. I don't know if I like that. Let's see. Make sure I'm recording. Okay. We're well, good. Uh, hmm. 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 I... Oh, hang on, I better put that back together again. I don't think I want those together. Hmm. Um, actually, I'll probably just uh, cut here. I know it's early, but I'll just cut here. I'm just gonna make a spaceship off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. I uh, managed to uh, make another another orbiter. I'm going to keep the same name. Uh, actually, first thing I got to do is I forgot this. Where's my structural? There we go. Yeah, I want to make sure this is going to keep because I don't want this all falling at the seams. Still trying to get used to the controls. Sometimes it just changes on me. What can I say? Let me see. I'd rather these guys just fall away like like flowers, but well. That's just not gonna happen, I don't think. I'm gonna have to do this. They made me do it. Alright, that's done. I just hope this this isn't gonna just fly off at the seams down here, is it? Well, just to be safe. And if you hear any thumping sounds, that's the people upstairs there being loud again. Well, I can't say too much. They haven't been that loud lately, but all of a sudden today they're just stomping everywhere. Save and launch. Alright, now let's hope it doesn't fall apart at the seams. Okay. SAS on, throttle up, and let's go Jebediah. In three, two, one. Ooh, that's a slow ascent. Oh crap. Hang on, um, I forgot to put the engines on the little ones. Ah, crap. Well, this isn't gonna work. I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot to put the engines on the bottom of, the, of those fuel, those six big fuel ones. Anyway, let's, well, I guess for now let's just see how well this works. <coughs> Everything fell out. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at that in the staging. Okay, I didn't expect everything to just fall apart like that, so I guess I'm gonna have to look at that in the staging again. But that's a, f a quick fix. So this is not gonna get me into orbit. I'll be lucky if I can break the first part of the atmosphere. I don't 
still, though, the meters per second is increasing. Okay, I thought for a second there I thought it was going in the other direction. But nope, that's not the case. Uh, I've been playing this game on another on, a, on another playthrough, but uh, so far on the other playthrough I haven't even got... Well, I got to the moon, I managed to orbit around it a couple of times, and then I managed to get back. But I wasn't able to land or anything like that, so that'll be a completely new experience, I'm sure. Actually, I've been, uh, on a previous, on my other save file, I've been practicing with the whole space station idea. Because I really want to make a space station. I want to have a space station orbiting every satellite if I can do it, but I doubt I'll do it. That would take forever, and it would take a lot of patience, and considering it took me over three hours to get two identical spacecraft to lock into each other by their noses, it took me... It, yeah, it took me about three hours. I was on a Skype call with my brother, and I finally got it to work. And he basically thought I climaxed, and it was just great. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's see. Oh, looks like I might actually break the first part of the atmosphere, but I'm not going to hit orbit. I'm not even going to try. Probably aim for the ocean. Yeah, and I got these little solar panel things, because I'm planning, when I get this thing in orbit, I'm planning on keeping it there. Indefinitely. Because Jebediah is one dangerous mofo, and I don't want him messing up my stuff. Oh my god, are you telling me I'm going to be able to make orbit? No, probably not. No. Okay, let's see. Whoa, what the hell? Um. Oh, I put the coupler on the wrong spot. Shit. Well, this is not going to end well. Oh well. Yeah, that's just slowly sliding away. And now I'm going in the other direction. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off. Decouple that. Going down. Oh wow, it looks like I'm going to land right back on the launch, pa launch pad again. But yeah, back on the launch pad, that's great. Well, as long as the rockets keep falling faster than mine, but I guess it will fall faster. I uh, will... I don't know. I don't know. I think I did pretty good for a uh, screw-up. Jebediah is just overly happy that he doesn't have to spend the rest of his days in orbit. Be right back, people. Alright, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, not sure how this is going to work, but let's resume flight. Or free fall, either way. Um, yeah, that was just a call from my, from my mommy. And we're still free falling. I'm gonna put up my. There we go. And see. Yeah, that's a bit worrisome. <laughs> Actually, since I stopped recording for a little while, because I was talking to my mother for a while there. Um, I might actually just, after this one, just stop, like once I land I'll just stop the recording and see exactly how how things turn, turn out.
Mm, we're still falling pretty fast. Oh, Jesus, it all went right back there. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, phew. For a second there, I thought it wasn't going to work. Okay, so now I'm going to speed up. Hang on, what's the speed up button? Ah, that's the speed up button. Almost landed back on a building. That's just great. Oh, jeez, for a second there I thought he died. Alright, looks like I made it. Alright, so let's uh, revert flight to vehicle assembly. Now, my biggest issue was... Oh. Six of them. That's what the problem was. Alright, so they will f fire when? During this, I'm hoping. So all that'll go... Then all that will release... Except for this. I don't want this to release. Okay, so all this will release. Then this. Okay, so then this will f fire. Hang on, this is firing too, right? Okay, so... Huh. Actually... Okay, so I'm going to add that, and I'm going to move this over here. Then this detaches. Then once that runs out, then this will detach. This detaches, then that fires, and that's where the problem is. Okay, so I'm going to move that out. That's how I wanted it. Okay. So once that's all done, then... Okay. And this detaches. Okay. Then this detaches and this fires. Then this detaches, then the parachutes. Launch. Okay, let's hope this actually works. Okay. And throttle up, and boom! Okay. I'm not going up very fast, but I'm hoping that's just a start. like in the low record rate. Now let's hope this actually works. So far, so good. Um, lately, I've been uh, 
looking at uh, different Minecraft mods. I'm not going to do any mod showcases or anything like that because that's been done time and time again. Uh, but I am looking at this uh, Pixel Pixelmon uh, mod because you know, if if you know me well enough, you know that I'm a I'm a huge Pokemon fan. So I was thinking maybe doing a play on that, but I've got too much stuff on my plate as it is with Kerbal Space Program and Spore and Minecraft whenever I get my brother online and yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, that and my uh, new uh, Tales of Eternia Let's Play. It's actually gotten more views than my uh, other Let's Plays for some reason that I'm not sure why. Uh, I've never actually checked to see how saturated Tales of Eternia is in the uh, in the Let's Play community. But uh, this is a... And I guess uh, I guess because it's a blind run, I suppose people are more interested in the blind run than there is anything else. Alright, let's see where I am on the planet. And the apoapsis just keeps getting bigger. I'm going to tilt a little bit over here. Oh boy, keep on to straight and narrow. And throttle down. Okay. Well, I'm not going to make this an exact science, so I'm just going to angle this up here and throttle up when I get close to the the apoapsis. How much fuel do I have left in the tank anyway? Mm, not very much. All right. Alright, this is a tense moment. I'm being really quiet there. Sorry about that. Mm, I suppose I better make it closer to the 90 degree angle. Okay, and throttle up. All right. Oh. All right, we're still good. Just don't need no need for that dead weight. All right, time to add maneuver. Let's let's make an orbit, people. Let's make an orbit. 121, 150, 128, no, I don't want that, 69, yeah, I'll be good with that, let's see, aim towards the target, oh, towards the target, not away from it, Yeah, it's harder to maneuver because I still got a full tank lift. Alright. Oh. I thought that I thought I didn't think I was throttling. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up time a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to burn at 2, 3, 
Two, burn. Make it a max burn. Uh, I don't really care if it overheats because I'm going to be ejecting this really fast anyway. Alright, we finally got an orbit. Okay. Get rid of this. Yeah, it's hard to hard to really describe how how uh, what the factors are to getting an orbit, but th there's an awful lot of stuff that you have to have in mind. Yeah, that's gonna fall eventually, I hope. But apparently, I have to. Apparently, an orbit is basically I have to go as fast as. Oh, uh, I have to go as fast as how I'm falling or something like that? Yeah, so... This is good. Oh, this is good. And I still got almost a full tank, so I can even do... No, I don't want to... I don't want to extend panels. I can even uh, try to make it a more circular orbit. I can practice stuff like that, so that's great. All right. Well, let me see. I don't want the apoapsis to be that big. I want to make it smaller, actually. Maneuver. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to make it smaller. 140. 132. 31. I think that's probably the best I'm going to do with that. 32. 31. Yeah. Now you know why there's somebody else doing this in real life. And not me! Okay, I guess it's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. Let's see if I can... Yeah, the orbit's not in line with the moon. No, 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 I don't want to add maneuver. I've already got one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just here concentrating. <laughs> uh, yeah, this should be pretty close. All right. And what's the apoapsis for that? 32, 33. Okay. I'm good with that. Let's see what I got. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So the estimated burn is in 32 minutes, but I'm not that patient. So I suppose once I get this finished, I'll just end the episode. Five, four, three, two. Alright, let's see. Hang on, first I want to see my resources. So the electric charge keeps going down, but I guess that's to be expected. Ah, uh, much more maneuverable. Ah, uh, this is much better than the big spaceship I was fighting with before. We'll turn off RCS. 
Don't want to waste any more fuel than I already have. And burn. Okay. Get rid of the maneuvering point, and we have him at 31 and 34. That's close enough. All right, so we finally got one in orbit. I have a feeling it doesn't take that much to get it in orbit, like that many rockets that I've used. I'm pretty sure it takes less than that to actually get it in orbit, but for whatever reason, I can't do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just in perpetual free fall in around the planet. And of course, extend the panels. All right, and we're charging up. There, so that's how that works. So electric charge is not that hard of a thing to get back just because of the sun. So there you have it. Anyway, I'm going to end off the episode here, I think. Uh, next time, I'm not quite sure what I'll do. I've been practicing on the whole space station thing, but that's not really, it's a more, that's a more advanced thing to do. And that's the last thing I am is advanced. Um, so I'm thinking probably send something else into orbit or probably get a probe going or maybe even try to get something in orbit around the moon. Maybe that'll work. Who knows? Leave in the comments if you want something in particular. Uh, anyway, this is Tsukihime signing off. Have a good day.